Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to the homestead. Well, guys, yesterday was a nice, beautiful day, and today is cold. I am cold out here. As you can tell, I've got this flannel kind of like jacket on, and uh, I do have my overhauls on, but when I stepped outside the door, I was like, oh, it is colder than what I thought it was going to be. So yesterday, I decided not only did I work in the garden some, but I realized that I need to go ahead and do some trimming around the house. So I trim my rose bushes back. They have been growing a little bit because we're almost at springtime. But I also uh, cut on this tree right here, which is an apple tree, and I'm stepping all over branches that's still on the ground that I'm going to pick up and use for the wood stove. This is the apple tree, and these branches, the little branches on the ground, will be good if you have a smokehouse because you can take on the wood the apple branches Let's see if I get one here and uh you know put it in your smokehouse dry it out and put it in your smokehouse but I'm going to be picking these up and using it for the wood stove and that's going to be great when they dry out I'm curious wonder if it I could probably smell the apples but I doubt it um so yesterday I took and really cut this tree back So right now, if you've seen it before, you would think that I have really just killed this tree and messed it up. But as you could tell, I've got some branches out. And uh, I've got them, the ones that straight out because when you're cutting your apple tree, it's not about beauty. It's about getting this tree to shape up to where it can hold the apples, the weight of the apples. And uh, the thing about this is that I should have did this uh, a while back. I should have gone ahead and trimmed this as it was growing. But with this tree right here, it actually grew faster than I planned on it. I mean, it just really just took off. It's not but a three-year-old tree, and it's really big for its size. But I've kept the fertilizer to it. I've kept it watered. Right here is a little raised bed that I got... Um, elephant garlic into and also yesterday when I was in the garden so that I had been planted had already planted onions but they just wasn't doing anything because we've had so much rain here onions like a lot of nitrogen and they like water but too much water is devastating to the onions so I've been trying to work with these onions even though all the rain that we had it didn't mess them up as far as uh, totally destroying them or you know rotting in the ground some of them I did lose but the ones I did, and I decided to uh, dig up and put it into this raised bed, along with the elephant gar garlic. So, as you look at it, you can say, well, that's really overcrowded, and it is. I've got some um, onions there. They are a uh, bunch of onions, and that's them right there. And... I've had some for years. Those came from my, my mother's homestead. I dug up when she passed away. And then you, you see I have a, a, a different type of garlic in there. I'm not sure what it is. It's that one right there. I'm not sure. But I have some elephant garlic planted in there that I got from Hoss Tools. And I actually have some more into the refrigerator that I'm going to plant. Actually, you plant them, I think it's like October, November, somewhere around there. Just about time of the onions. My, wet, my hair is blowing all over the place because the wind's picking up because rain is coming. But I have some um, more onions, I mean, excuse me, garlic that I got from Hall's Tools. It was uh, reduced. And uh, so I actually was going to put those in here with the rest of the elephant garlic that I did get from Hall's Tools. So they're taking off. Um, my plan is, is this, is pretty much try to get those onions out of that garlic I mean out of that garlic out of that garden before they completely just don't do anything I believe in here they'll have a better chance of going ahead and taking off I did notice some of the bulbs have grown some but they just wasn't doing anything the pH is perfect into the gar uh, garlic I keep saying garlic I got garlic on my mind because I need to plant it um, the pH is perfect into the garden so it wasn't that it was just all this rain so I probably will just buy uh, another container, at least get, do something other to get these other garlic uh, 
bulbs into the ground. I'm looking forward to that to have my you know have my own garlic here onto the homestead. Now, as you can tell, the wind is really picking up. I can hear it coming through the trees, which is telling me in my region that um, the cold air is really coming in. It's really cold here. Yesterday was I had shorts on. You could just about get a sunburn. You know, I'm sure I got a suntan through through that process. But today, guys, is cold. The dog is here, and I could just look at her, and she's like cold. It's hard to adapt to this type of weather when you go from one extreme to the other extreme. Yesterday, I was like, you know, I had short sleeves on, shorts on, because I was just, I was hot because we've been so cold here. Now it's so cold, and I think I got adapted to the heat yesterday, and now I'm, I'm really about to freeze. So, guys, I just want to give you a little update. Um, at this apple tree right here, when you're, when you're growing your apple tree, and I've got another one I'm going to be growing. I actually got two more that I got from Grower Solution that I'm going to be planting at another location where the greenhouse is at. But you want to try to raise your apple uh, trees that, that your branches go out. I had to do some research on that um, because all my branches are like going up. When they're going up like that, it's blocking the sun. When the branches are going up like that, and apples come on here, it will not, the, it, the weight won't hold. If they're straight up, it won't hold it. It'll break the branch. So I did the very best I could with this. Like this right here, I debated whether to go ahead and cut this off. When you start doing your cutting, it will start branching out even more. But nevertheless, I do like the fact that I did try to work with this tree. Um, and I got some branches coming out. And what I'll just continue to do is continue working with it. See if I can get as many branches to branch out. Straight out and not up so that it'll hold the weight. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to make it a great day. Give me a thumbs up on my videos and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. And remember, guys, I love you. God loves you. Make it a great day. This is Cammie at Never Alone Homestead. And I got a dog. It's cold. And she's just looking at me with all kinds of love. Like, talk to me. Talk to me. Make it a great day.